A new lakefront subdivision is planned for St. Cloud, and while some are looking forward to having a new home with a view, News 13 Stephanie Bichara tells us why others believe it could be an environmental threat. Thomas Murray has lived here on Alligator Lake in St. Cloud for more than 50 years. This is my lake. I live on this lake. I've told you, I, my kids were born and raised on this lake. It means everything to me. This is where the development of more than 500 homes along with a boat lift is being proposed. But some feel that the dredging and filling required for this project threatens the environment. Just the out of control development on this lake is just scaring me. Some are worried that all of this may contribute to the algae blooms along the coast. I would like to see native plants put around our ponds and the ones if they build this community to filter out these nutrients before they get sent south. The zoning for this project was approved by the county earlier this year. They are a natural part of Osceola County that we do want to protect. But detailed plans as to how the subdivision will be built rest on the South Florida Water Management District and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. This is not a done deal, is what people need to know. And their comments, whether it be environmental or use of the lake, anything, are still open for public comment to the different agencies for approval. At Monday's meeting, the county commission passed a temporary ban on any future developments with boat lifts. As for Murray, he wants this lake to be here for his grandchildren and hopes more boat lifts are not built. And just rebuild the boat slip that's already here. Then everybody can use the boat slip and we're not dredging in Alligator Lake. In St. Cloud, Stephanie Bichara, News 13. The South Florida Water Management District says only one acre of dredging has been proposed by the developer and that the environmental resource permit for the project is quite extensive. The U.S. Army Corps of Engineers says they are currently evaluating the proposal and also listening to concerns from residents. It's not known when a decision will be reached.